it's Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. It is your turn, Virgo. So this is going to be a general read, not a love read. <clears throat> um, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. It'll resonate with someone. And if you're here, there's definitely something here for you. I will say that there are no accidents in this world at all. The universe is far too complex and intelligent for <laughs> accidents. <laughs> Um, that is one of my huge beliefs. Uh, so, where are we? This is a timeless read. So, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. However, this will be dated for January 2024. But like I said, whenever you find this reading, it's for you, Virgo. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and dive right in. <clears throat> Virgo. I'm going to go ahead and set up some sp sacred space for us. I'm going to invite in all of my spirit guides, my ancestors, my star family, guardian angels. Ask that Archangel Michael stand here and protect us during this reading. And I'm going to go ahead and invite the Virgos that watch me, their spirit guides and star family is welcome to join us as well. To help me to guide the Virgos that watch me in the best way possible. All right, what do we have for Virgo, please? What do we have for Virgo? Why am I having such a hard time shoveling these cards today? What is going on? <clears throat> Weird. All right, there we go. That's a better shuffle. I'm going to shuffle both these decks because I don't know which one I'm going to start with yet. Virgo, what do we have for Virgo for January? What is the message that needs to come out for Virgo for January? What is the message for Virgo for January, please? Huh. <clears throat> Weird. Okay. I think we're going to start out with the mermaid deck. Oceanic Tarot. What do we have for Virgo? Okay, Virgo, please. Five of Pentacles. What is going on with all the signs this month? There's like... Is everybody going through a huge transformation and shadow work? <clears throat> I feel like there's a lot of heaviness being released, Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> so we have five of pentacles, four of cups. The first two cards, like this is how the reading's starting out. Abandonment and boredom. What's in the actual fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. What in the actual fuck? <laughs> That's so funny. And then we have the Ace of Cups, which is love. All right. I'm going to start putting some of these up here, and then we're going to start interpreting the energy in a minute. To me, this feels like, though, Virgo, can I say right off the bat, this feels like... This feels like an abandonment of yourself. The five of pentacles, it says abandonment, right? It's this feeling of feeling left out in the cold. Um, you know, it could mean somebody has left you out in the cold. But, you know, in, in reality, the harsh truth is someone cannot leave us out in the cold and abandon us, you know, unless we have first somehow abandoned ourselves. That is the harsh truth of this reality. As above, so below. As within, so without. It's what they say, right? It's, And it's true. Like everything that goes on inside of us will be reflected on the outside of us. If you have anger inside, you're going to come across a lot of people who are angry, right? That's just how it is. And so there was some form of abandoning yourself. And that's what I'm feeling with the five of pentacles. It's this feeling of like, I abandoned myself and, and now, you know, with the four of cups coming out right, right with it, you know, right next to it, 
It's this feeling of, I don't remember the calling of my soul. There's a feeling of numbness and emptiness. And if this is resonating in any way, I have to give you a huge hug because I remember what that's like, that feeling of restlessness, that feeling of bored, boredom, that feeling of it's the same day, different, you know, the same shit, different day. You know, it's, it's a feeling where you're disconnected from everything, yourself, your body, like your soul. And, you know, it's, it's almost like a feeling of you're just being a drone and just working and the essence of the things that you enjoy are missing in a way, okay? But the good news is, my beautiful Virgo, is with the Ace of Cups, it says love. There is a certain amount of hope that is coming from this card. This is the card of rediscovering your self-love and rediscovering who you are and what you love. And in doing so, it's going to open up avenues to your soul that you never dreamt you could experience right all of these cards had to bring you to a moment of self-realization where see self-realization i'm not even kidding i pulled the card as i was talking and i was saying you know it's brought you to some sort of self oh my god i'm so good <laughs> to, 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 to get into my horn because you know, as I was shuffling, I'm talking and I'm like, you're, it's bringing you to a self-realization, right? And the Hermit card is about self-realization. It's about contemplating um, things about yourself and about your life. So you had to go through these moments of uncomfortable experiences in order to dive deep within yourself and say, why am I so unhappy right now? Why am I bored? Why do I have this restless feeling? And why do I have this feeling of like where everyone's abandoned me? And, and more importantly, ouch, <laughs> where have I abandoned myself? And it's by asking those really difficult questions and having the self-reflective moments that we get to the hermit and the self-love and all of the stars of these beautiful changes, Virgo, which are going to be so incredible for you. Look, see, look at what's next. We have four of wands reward. Okay. All of this is going to bring you to the next level of your, the next level or the start of like something amazing. To me, this feels like you're in the midst of like another spiritual awakening. You know, if you've been watching me, you know, for a while, I'm assuming you've, you're already, pretty much self-aware and awakened but our awakenings never stop right now things have shifted in an incredible way and people are even going even deeper and the shadow work is getting you know even more heavy and we're diving in as we're diving in as deep as we can to uncover the essence of who we are virgo and look, this is going to bring you so many rewards. You're going to have this. It literally says reward. Okay. Sorry. My head is creating a shadow. I got to, maybe if I move this over a bit, but now it's going to look like my tree's way off center. I don't even know. I'm going to fix it. Oh gosh. I'm just making it worse. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay. Hold on here. <laughs> Trying to adjust the camera so it's not creating a glare and now it just looks really off center my tree is completely centered but the way i have my camera it doesn't look like it's centered now and that's good maybe all right so why is that there ah stop okay so sorry about that virgo um it literally says can you see the cards better now yes it literally says four of wands reward so the four of wands are also about creating emotional, financial um, stability in your life. So, and, and, it, and it's about doing it quickly in a way that is a 
invigorating to your soul. Okay. So doing this energy of exploring what it is that you've wanted, but that you've put off for so long is going to be, you know, an incredible addition to your journey, Virgo. Let's get two more cards in this deck and then we're going to move on to the next deck, okay? Um, we have Ace of Swords. Look at that victory. Do you see what just a little bit of contemplation and inner work will do? Meditation, stillness, asking yourself those questions like, why do I feel like this? Why do I feel so bad? Why do I feel so tired? Why do I feel so dead? When is the last time I felt alive? Right? Those are the questions we need to ask in order to change things. We can't change things if we don't know what it is that we're looking for. Page of Wands, creativity. Wow. So some of you might be... This path is going to lead you to a, a ton of answers, right? The Ace of Swords is about clarity. It's about discovering things. It's about learning things about yourself, right? It's about receiving answers to questions that you're asking. And then we have creativity. Um, so this is going to bring about a creative spark. My chair is squeaky, sorry. It's going to bring about a creative spark, a childlike exuberance that I feel like may have been missing for quite a while, Virgo. And it's going to feel so incredibly... Um, invigorating for you all right let's go ahead and move on to the next tarot deck and see what do we have in store Woo! that one flew out all right we have five of swords Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. There is a lot of nines here, Virgo. We have Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So you're entering also in the month of January and also, wow, starting into the beginning of February, there's going to be a shift in your finances, which is going to feel really good but not just that it's gonna there's an energy also of like finding some sort of happiness right like and and i'm not saying that you're not happy now but there something is gonna come in that you have been waiting for and waiting for and waiting for and almost like you were at this point where you didn't think it was going to be achieved and then boom we have the Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment. We also have the Page of Pentacles. So, you know, this, again, this is the card of learning and introspection, right? It's the energy of wonderment. We're going to get two more cards, and I need to ask about this Five of Swords. Six of Swords. So see, you're letting go. Once all these blessings start rolling in, you're going to let go. Of, wow, we got two cards of manipulation. This is not good. You're going to start letting go of all of these people and things and habits that are no longer serving you, okay? Because you're going to get a taste of like what it's like to be truly happy and to have this sense of inner peace. And, you know, everything in your life is going to change. There's going to be this energy of, like, cutting people out of your life, of cutting out um, lots of things, right? Like, even family members, people that you know are toxic, but that you just keep around for God knows what. I don't know. Um, we have this energy here, which is Five of Swords, which is, is this energy of, like, narcissism and um, deceit. And I don't like this energy, so I'm going to ask about it in just a second. We're going to get clarity. 
And then we have this one too, which is the, the liar and the manipulator card. So I don't know what this is, what's going on, Virgo, but everything, this whole energy of like wonderful, great things are being crossed by this energy of manipulation and lies. I want to say when all of these wonderful things start shifting in your life to not make sure you're not achieving these things with any deceit or manipulation, right? This also could be people trying to manipulate you once they see you doing well. I'm not sure. Why do we have the five of swords here? Okay, I'm going to put all these cards back in and then I'm going to ask about the five of swords and the seven of swords. Okay. Why do we have the Five of Swords here for Virgo, please? Why do we have the Five of Swords here for Virgo, please? Oh, Virgo, this is someone from your past. This is someone from your past that has not always been completely honest with you so beware of this person trying to come back into your life once you start achieving all these like wonderful things there might be this sense of like nostalgia like you might want to reach out to someone from your past but remember the lesson they taught you if there's some kind of manipulation there and there's some kind of dishonesty Try to remember the lessons that they taught you. All right, why do we have the Seven of Swords for Virgo? Why do we have the Seven of Swords? Yeah, because the Seven of Swords is like this energy of someone sneaking around and being dishonest. There's two, the, both the Five of Swords and Seven of Swords are very similar energies. Um, we have Three of Pentacles. So beware of someone being untrue and dishonest in something, something in regards to a work collaboration. If you're working with someone right now, if you and a partner are working on something together, make sure you read the contracts very well, Virgo. Okay, because this is the card of collaborations, right? Work collabs, you know, or someone hiring you to do a job. Make sure that you literally go over everything with a fine tooth comb, okay? Because there's an energy of them going to be dishonest or manipulate you in some way to get try to get something off of you so i'm forewarning you about this right okay all right we are going to pull a spirit message card for you what else do we have for virgo please We have release 28 8 and 2 is 10 it says I release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love I told you there was this energy of you releasing you cutting people out of your life cutting out toxic habits cutting out anything that no longer serves you jobs people family members cut it all out we are now in this new energy of the age of Aquarius and all of these things need to be released in order to raise our vibrations to this highest frequency of love. And that cannot be done if we are tethered to a bunch of shit. <laughs> That's true. Look at all this light ready to be fucking integrated into your beautiful and light body, Virgo, if you just trust the process. Eight and two is also 10, right? Which, you know, is the number of new beginnings. Everything new for you. One is a fresh start. Zero is zero point, starting from scratch. All right, we're going to do an Oracle of the Unicorn card for you. 
And then we're going to end with a charm and we're going to be done. Incredible, beautiful energy, Virgo. This is like some next level energy, but you have to, you have to trust the process. You have to trust why your soul feels so discontent, right? The discontent is good because it, it, it's letting you know, hey, something is not sitting well in my soul. Imagine if you didn't have that and you just continued to just be miserable, right? The discontent comes right before the breakthrough, Virgo. I know because I've been having my own discontent right now. The past month, I've been questioning everything. It's like, do I even like tarot? Do I like this? Do I like that? And I asking, I've been asking myself the really hard questions. Like, what does Nancy, not Chakra Bunny, not Baroness Bunny, what does Nancy need to be happy? What do I want? What do I hope to achieve? And these questions really put us on the... Um, The precipice of like, you know, the answers, anger, wow, safely express your anger, use anger as a positive force, honor all your emotions as sacred. Yeah, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, we, we. We are allowed to have a spectrum of emotions and nobody can tell us how to deal with those emotions, right? Um, anger is, is a way of letting us know that something is not sitting well with our soul, right? And the only way to safely deal with that anger is to release it. However, you release it by explaining to the person, this really made me angry because it didn't feel very good at all. Or, you know, just screaming or imagining the the anger as a ball of red fire and shooting it from your body there has to be a healthy release for it or it's just going to build up until you just explode in a rage and nobody wants to deal with that <laughs> trust me not you all right so let's go ahead. oh my goodness gracious let's go ahead and draw a charm for you my beautiful Virgo. and then we will conclude this reading okay I think I'm going to call you reading A Revolution of the Soul. It's so beautiful. Okay, Charm for Virgo. Ooh, it's a hand. Is that a hand or a foot? I think it's a hand. Hello, I'm waving at you, Virgo. All right. Oh, let's see what the hand means. So I don't remember. If, I don't think I told you, but so the story behind the charms is I have all these charms that I didn't know what to use them for. <laughs> and I went into a little meditation, talked to my spirit guides, asked them for regular meanings and love meanings of each charm. And they gave me messages for all of them. And I wrote them all down. Look, in two very long pages. Here. And here. My writing is like chicken scratch. The only one that didn't have two meanings was the cherry which represents the twin flames that's it the rest all had regular readings and love meanings or love meanings and regular meanings all right so you got the hand right let's look it up it took a really long time to do this but i think it was really worth it because it gives me a whole new way to connect with your energy and to let you know what's coming and you know what's in store all right so the hand the regular message for the hand is wow this is beautiful working hard virgo how fitting virgo virgos i would say virgos and capricorns are the most hard working signs in the zodiac it's absolutely so fitting for you i love it all right at least the virgos i know in my life are very hard working and studious and it's really beautiful so the love message for that would be a text message or a message somehow coming through from the person you are obsessed with right now, Virgo. All right. So that seems like a pretty amazing place to end the reading for Virgo. I love you, Virgo. And I hope this reading resonated in some way. If it did, please like the video, share it with all your amazing Virgo friends and subscribe because it's completely free for you. And I would be so grateful. I love you, Virgo. Bye.